What do you say about the car that has everything? I guess you could start with the obvious. In the case of this car, it's a stunning candy apple red 1966 Mustang, and that's a good start, but there's so much more. It's loaded with options, both performance options and luxury options. It's a 29,000 mile car that had only two owners for 50 years. Both of these guys were preservation minded owners. And the original owner built what you see here today his inspiration was the original four cars built by Carroll Shelby in 1966, the Shelby GT350 convertibles, the unicorns of the Shelby world, and the 12 con continuation cars built in the early 1980s. That was his final inspiration. In fact, this car has some of the very parts on it that that builder used on those continuation cars. Very cool. In addition to those parts, it's loaded with factory hypo parts. It even has a genuine hypo motor. It has factory Shelby parts on it and some other NOS parts. Uh, in short, it's loaded with goodies. It comes with a documentation binder. Now this documentation binder has a lot of stuff in it, but it outlines basically for you the story of the original owner who was inspired to build this car based on Carol Shelby's original cars and that continuation series. In fact, in the binder, one of the items is the original magazine from Hot Rod back in 1981 that talked about those continuation cars that would be built. That's very cool. The car is really a true one-of-a-kind Cinderella story, and if that's not enough, it's a blast to drive. So we're going to start it, we're going to look at the engine, listen to the exhaust, and go for a test drive. Okay, you're looking at a Concours engine bay that is just full of period correct Ford Hypo parts and Shelby parts. Uh, okay, starting with the correct Hypo carburetor, correct intake, correct Hypo block with correct casting, correct oil slump, correct valve covers, correct harmonic balancer, correct dual point distributor, um, correct quick ratio steering box, correct dual piston disc brakes, correct high flow radiator, uh, even the correct reinforcement on the cowl, metal reinforcement plate on the cowl for the export brace. Just an amazing car. Uh, these components alone make the car uh, unique, special, and highly sought after. Of course, it also has power steering and air conditioning, which are quite nice. And it's got the Coney shocks that you would have found on the car back in the day. Quite amazing. Well, let me start it up and then we'll go on that test drive. That raspy sound right there is a mechanical lifter 289 Hypo. Hall of Fame motor. Let's go listen to the exhaust. That is a great sounding little 289 hypo. Let's go take it for a test drive and see what it sounds like out in the wild. Well, here we go in our test drive. It's January 2017. I think it's 70 degrees here in Texas, so it's a beautiful day. They're not all beautiful like this, but uh, today certainly is beautiful. There's a cool old truck going by right there. So you're in a 29,000 original mile 1966 Mustang. That's uh, by itself is spectacular. Of course, the improvements to this car notch it up to a level that uh, probably makes it a one of a kind. This thing takes the turns uh, extremely well. Of course it has the Shelby suspension which makes a big difference in these cars. Slow down here a little bit and accelerate. That's fun. 
fun. That's a lot of fun. You know, the super cool thing about this car is not only does it have phenomenal performance options, well, it has all the performance options of the day. It has all the luxury options, or at least most of them. You know, power steering, power disc brakes, power top, air conditioning. You know, that's an automatic, of course. That's a lot of luxury with your performance. It just allows you to be in the car more than you would otherwise be if it was strictly performance oriented. This is both performance and luxury. You know, I can see why this was one of Carroll Shelby's most favorite cars of all time. He, he, uh, he actually owned one of the original six and regretted having ever sold it. And that's the reason he actually contracted to have the, what they call the continuation cars built. He wanted another. He wanted some for his family members. Uh, you know, they're truly a, a blast. It's the perfect combination of drop top fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed the test drive. You know, I'm going to spend a few more hours in this car today, but thanks for coming along and come back when you can.